very good afternoon to you. This is your daytime update as we continue keeping you abreast of all the day's breaking and developing stories. There's been a lot of focus around royalty uh, in the past a few months. Uh, but we turn now to the uh, Mujaji royalty and the Mujaji dynasty. There have been varying responses to the announcement of Prince Lugulela Mujaji as the new king of the Barubedu nation. Prince Lukulela takes over as king despite his younger sister, Princess Masala Nabo, having been previously announced as the queen um, after the passing of their mother, the reigned queen Makobo Mujaji. The Balubedu are known to be led by Mujaji queens who are famous for their rainmaking abilities. Now, the nation has not had a male monarch for 200 years. For a conversation about the Balubedu throne, I'm joined now by advocate Mwako Marupeni, a Balubedu activist, uh, Petelo Mampuele Mujaji, the Royal Council spokesperson. Uh, gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you, and, and thank you so much uh, for your time. Perhaps let me start with you, um, advocate uh, talk to us about the the dynasty, the Mujaji dynasty. Talk to us about the, the the nation and the people, who they are and where they come from. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, and uh, to you and uh, to the uh, viewers at home, I think I will extend my greetings to uh, the Royal Highness uh, Mr. Joseph Mambeuli. But I would think, to, I think perhaps I must just indicate up front that my, 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 my discussion will have to be centered around the legality of, uh, uh, the legality around discontinuation of the Valuvedu kingship because of the appointment of uh, Ligugela instead of uh, Queen elect Masalanaba. So I would leave the issues around the uh, internal issues between the Mujaji, uh, Royal Council to Mr. Uh, uh, Mambeul. My job, I've written a legal opinion as a legal expert to express uh, the legal opinion in this respect, and I'm not going to be debating what is happening in their uh, household. So let me then uh, allow you, uh, Mr. Mambeul, to take the reins and, and the leadership here about giving us the background to the dynasty of the Mujadis and the, the Balubedu. Thank you very much, um, um, and greetings to to you and the and the viewers. We, as the Balobedu, uh, we, we 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 are a nation uh, with, with 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 culture tradition, and we have always practiced our culture and tradition for for over 400 years. And uh, I can say to you that uh, we have been perfect in practicing our customs and, 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 and tradition. Uh, during the past 400 years, we, there was a time during 200 years from 1600 to, to, to 1800 where our custom and tradition and the rainmaking rituals were, were excellently uh, controlled by, 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 by kings. And uh, in 1800, uh, there, there was a, a, a time when now the, the, the custom tradition and the rainmaking rain ceremony was controlled by queens. And uh, I, I must also indicate and emphasize that uh, uh, in terms of our culture and tradition, the, the, the question of, 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 of gender doesn't count. What, what is what is most 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 important to to the leader who who ascend the throne is the tasks that you are given. And for the past four hundred years, all leaders, all kings and queens who ascended the throne, the, the the tasks that were given to them, the task number one was to that they lead the the, the royal family and lead the royal council of Bakoma and Wakomaana lead that royal family, protect it and preserve it, and run it in terms of culture and tradition. And, uh, and of most importantly, the, their task is to make sure that they prepare 
the next higher to the throne because uh, our, 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 our institution is, is, is unique, unlike any other institution. It's unique because of its well-known uh, 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 culture of, 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 of rainmaking. Now, with that culture of rainmaking, it has always been a, a deep secret. It has always, always been a weapon for us as, 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 as Malawi. And it has been passed from one leader to the other. And even today, as, as I'm speaking, the decision that we have taken now, uh, we've taken it in accordance with, with, with our culture and tradition. If, if we look at your, your culture and tradition, Mr. Mampuele, it has been over the past 200 years, uh, the princesses who have then taken up the throne and worn the crown, uh, so to speak, and in this particular instance, uh, Princess Masala Nabo was already reigned queen elect. So the question is, why the turnaround? Why now? She's 16 years old. She has been groomed since the passing of the reign queen, um, Mujaji. She has been groomed to take over the throne. But there has been a change of events. Why now? It, it's actually not a change of events. It, it is exactly what, what, what is supposed to be, to, to, to be happening. So why was uh, it not if, then... If I may, if uh, I may, if me, I may explain if I may ask, well to you. If I, if I may just Let ask me this, Mr. Mampuele, if that was really the case, why is it that upon the passing of um, the, the Reign Queen, why was it not then announced that it will not be the princess who's taking over the throne, but rather the prince. Our, 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 our history tells us it is clear. We, 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 there is a time and a period where the, the, the one to ascend the throne is prepared. Uh, let me indicate this to you. In 2005, when, 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 Queen Mujaji the, the sixth died. As a royal family and royal council, we appointed a regent. The regent was given clear trust, clear trust on the table. The first task which he was to do, number one, was that he must continue on leading the royal family and the royal council. And the second task was that he must prepare the next higher to the throne. And the first task was that while busy preparing the next higher to the throne, he must continue on doing the job which was done by, by his predecessor, his sister, by the, the previous kings, by the previous kings. And after having been given those tasks, he came to report us recently this year, convened now the, the, the Royal Council, Royal Family, and say the task that you have given me, I have completed. You are right when you say there was a time when people will, 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 will talk about who and that. It, it's always the case. You know, uh, preparing for the next hire to the throne is not a one day, a one week, a month, or, or, or a year a process. It is a process. Which, 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 there are many things which are done there. Things which are done to the, to, to the heir to the throne at childhood. Things which are done at, at, at puberty level. Things which, which are done at adulthood age. And ultimately, the last process, which is the most important one, the secret, the weapon, is when that particular person after the, 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 the one who has been tasked with the work of, of preparing that particular person, is when that person will, will pass the test of opening a door. So let me bring you in here, Advocate. Uh, your view is that the Royal Council has erred in saying that the Prince is next to the throne. Uh, why? Definitely. Uh, I think if I can put it bluntly, the issue boils down to the issue of uh, illegality. 
So whether or not the decision that has been taken by the Royal Council is uh, in accordance with the prescript of the law or not. And if you can check, obviously, the Royal uh, Council um, uh, is governed in terms of the Traditional Leadership Governance Framework Act. And the recognition of the traditional leadership is done in terms of the Traditional Leadership Governance Framework Act. So now, everything that they do in uh, appointing their kings or I mean, queen must always be within the bounds of the law. And why I'm saying this is because we have always been aware that uh, in 2018, when we were at Amkokwaiza, there was a clear uh, statement made by the president of the country, made by also co-made, made by the, uh, uh, the princess regent Mbabadla, and as well as the relevant stakeholders that were there when they were celebrating the queenship status. So when that was done there, it was clear that Regent Mbabata was actually uh, going to be acting on behalf of uh, the Queen-elect Ma Masalana, who was still very young at the time. So now, that decision that was taken was just an implementation of the Tolo Commission that actually recommended that the Balobedi nation must be given the queenship status, where in other senior traditional leadership around Mupan region will have to now be uh, falling under the stewardship of Mujaji royal nation. Now, that decision, it has actually given the Mujaji royal nation uh, uh, more uh, status or power. Or they were given the highest level, which by, uh, by no means uh, they were required to, uh, in fact, to, to, to appoint the council from those other senior traditional councils. Now, when they now come to say that, uh, apart from the Tolo Commission's recommendations that were approved, we are now changing our decision to appoint uh, uh, Ligugela to be the king of the Balobedi royal nation, it now tends to be deviating from the recommendation from Tolo Commission. It's also something that will be against what uh, uh, was actually recommended there, which is the kingship status, because now it's now a king. So, but what I want to say is that in terms of the law, if the Mujaji royal nation is uh, uh, performing administrative function as the administrative authority. Now, if they want to change that decision by law, they have to self-review. Self-review, it means that your own decision, even if it is yours, you can't change it willy-nilly. You have to uh, be, uh, you, you have to follow due process. In this case, Mujaji Royal Nation was, was supposed to then approach the High Court and apply for review in terms of the law reviewing their own previous decision. Then, in that case, they would then uh, uh, afford the other parties that may want to raise any objections. The Audi Alteram term rule must be observed, an opportunity to uh, object. And still, Mujaji Royal Nation will have to make out their case, as they are saying here, to say that, no, we've made it a, 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 a legitimate decision, and therefore our decision is not irrational. It is just and fair, based on their own grounds. Now, the other party will also have to make statements to say that, no, I don't think that it was appropriate the manner in which the decision was taken. So, Advocate, unfortunately, it is illegal. It. Advocate, we'll pause there just for a moment, and we'll continue with our conversation with Advocate uh, Murupene, as well as uh, Mr. Mampuele from the Royal Council of the Balubedu. We'll be right back as we focus on the Mujaji Queenship, which looks like after 200 years will be coming to an end. That is, of course, if the Royal Council does have its way. Do stay with us. We continue now our conversation about the Balubedu throne and joining me is Advocate Mwako uh, Murubene and uh, Mr. Mulubedu, uh, activist at uh, Pitotle Mampuele Mujaji, the Royal Council uh, spokesperson. Let me start with you, Ndate uh, Mampuele Mujaji. As you could hear the advocate saying here, that in as much as you as the Royal Council can make that decision, that actually it goes beyond you, that there has to be a legal process that needs to happen here, that you need to take this matter to the High Court. Um, is this something that you are going to be doing, uh, specifically considering that you've already set aside the date of October this year for the throning of the, the Prince? You see, uh, from a long time ago, 
and our history, our culture and tradition will always remain. Now, those are the processes that we, we, we follow whenever a, a, a hire is, is, is chosen. And then now, and that is the reason why I, I earlier on indicated that it, 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 it's very unique. That's all about us. If, 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 if you want to know about Balovelu, their succession, uh, their unique uh, 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 traditional institution, that's what it means. Um, previously, I, I may give you uh, uh, examples. For 200 years, as I indicated, that we were uh, the, the, the rulers of this of this Balawiri people were kings. I I, under, it, I understand it, it that. Not, I understand not, that. Not, that not Jaji, I, I'm sorry to to cut you short here. It's just that time is not really on our side. I want to acknowledge that you've painted the picture of how it all started and that it, it, it was a kingship beforehand. But now, according to the Sulu Commission that we've been uh, speaking about now, it's no longer just an issue of the customs that you make as the royal body, but also an issue of law. I understand as well from your response that it's not necessarily an issue that you say you will be uh, taking to the courts, which brings me back to you, Advocate. You have been part of a, a petition that you started uh, to have this um, this decision reversed. Tell us about that. The issue of, the issue of law, the issue of law uh, that, 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 that is, is, is indicating the act and so on, it, it states clear that whenever a, 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 a senior traditional leader is appointed, of course he will be appointed in terms of customs and tradition of that particular community. What we are doing here we are, we, are, we are making an appointment in Unfortunately, terms of Unfortunately, and Dr. I do apologize. Um, as I uh, you know, said a little bit earlier on time, not necessarily on our side. We have to unfortunately leave our conversation there. But I thank you both gentlemen uh, for this time.